Hi there, it's Nikki, your friendly female biker here, and I've just pulled over in my van because I've been mulling over a post I saw on social media this morning, and I've seen a few of these, and you probably have too. It was like a picture of um, a person wearing bright coloured clothing, and then the same picture, but the person in black clothing, and they're kind of invisible. So I just wanted to give you my thoughts on visibility. Um, and I, I think the post, the point of the post was saying that you should wear high vis, which obviously I'm not going to say isn't a good idea. The clue's in the name. It's higher visibility than normal dark clothing. So if you want to wear fluorescent yellow, orange, pink, um, bike kit or like a, you know, a tabard thing over your bike kit, then obviously anything you can do to be brighter and more seen is is a great idea um you could also wear um, a light colored helmet uh, my lid is bright orange um but that's because i ride a kdm but i'm sure it probably makes it easier to see me um but there are other things that you can do as well as what you wear so for example uh, modern bikes the headlight comes on automatically when you switch the engine on um, and there's a reason for that there's a reason why modern cars have daytime driving lights uh, which come on it does make you more easily seen so if your bike ha headlight like my dirt bike for example that doesn't come on automatically so when I'm on road sections I turn it on so ride with a headlight day or night it's not just for you to see where you're going it's for people to see you there's also things like to do with road positioning that can make you be seen more easily uh, one of the most dangerous things we do is junctions um where you know there's a possibility of someone pulling out on us and things ending badly so if you are coming towards a left turn uh like there's a junction on on your side of the road where people could pull out into you you're the oncoming traffic um don't hug the left hand curb because if you imagine you're this car at that junction and you're looking to your right you can't see as as easily round further your your the angle of your vision you're going to see a bike earlier if they are on the white line. So on your bike, move over to the white line, still on your side of the road, but further out. And that's where a car's right-hand headlight would be anyway. So if they're looking for a car rather than consciously looking for a bike, you'll be seen better. And also just the moving, movement draws the eye. So moving out, perhaps moving across a bit and out again, just to draw their attention to you. Anything that you can do, to draw people's attention attention to you. Um, and then, of course, there's anticipating. I'm thinking of an example where I was coming up a hill and I could see a car that appeared to be driving across a field, which obviously it wasn't. Um, so I thought, I reckon there's going to be a junction at the top of this hill. And sure enough, as I crested the brow of the hill, this car arrived at the junction. He saw me, he stopped. No problem, but I'd kind of backed off a little just in case maybe if I hadn't he wouldn't have seen me quite so easily but ultimately you need really this is my advice to be traveling at a speed where you could stop safely if the worst were to happen and they pull out on you now stopping safely is not the same speed for everybody um it depends on how modern and, and good your brakes are. It depends on your personal reaction time. It depends on whether you've got ABS. It depends on your experience because the more experienced you are at braking heavily and controlling a bike in that transition, then you know the more safely you can stop from a higher speed. So safe at a safe speed is is. Uh, dependent on you and your machine. I guess if you want to be riding at your full capacity as fast as you can, if you want to be challenging yourself, learning to get your knee down, 
finding out your limits, then I believe the place for that is on a track day um, rather than on the road. Um, so I'm going to do a video um, soon about track days as well. So watch out for that one coming. Um, again, junctions on your right on the opposite side of the road. The angle of vision for you is further over. But again, the movement will draw attention to yourself. So, yeah, keep yourself as visible as you can in whatever ways you can. Um, ride at a speed where you are anticipating people being plonkers. Yeah, so that's my thoughts on visibility. Uh, wherever you are, keep it sunny side up. Stay safe, my friends, and see you next time.